If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 video. And guys, today what we're going to be talking about is the new draft champions and salary cap seasons. We are going to be heading into season four, which is a little bit interesting. We're also going to talk a little bit about the actual, uh, the rewards that you got for season three. If you participated in ranked draft champions or in the salary cap game modes, which of course cost you event tickets. Uh, so, you know, it, it's something where it's not free, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, definitely something where you can get something back if you do decide to participate. Now, what's a little bit interesting about this, in my opinion, is that you didn't really get that much out of it. Uh, you know, all things considered, given the fact of how much time that you actually have to invest into salary cap and rank draft champions right now, and there really isn't a whole lot to play for, to be completely honest with you. I mean, we don't have another tournament coming up or anything like that that I'm aware of. Kind of sounded like the, the recent tournament that they did, uh, that stiff one. That one, I think, is going to be the final tournament of Madden 16. So we've got plenty of them coming in Madden 17, and it's possible that you might have to play in Madden 16 to qualify for Madden 17's tournament, uh, the first one at least, but I'm not thinking that's going to be the case. I, like, I would be very, very surprised if that was end ended up being the case. So my question at this point is, what's the point in playing draft champions ranked and salary cap? I mean, obviously, if you enjoy those game modes, go for it. By all means, play it out. Do what you want to do. But for your average person that's just getting involved or, you know, somebody who hasn't really played it before and they're not really that excited about it or they have played before, I just don't really think there's enough of a benefit. If you look at what you actually received in Season 3, if you look at the elite level of the salary cap uh, level, if you got to that elite level at the end and you finished in that level, you got 12 salary cap badges, which is cool, and you also got a fireworks badge, uh, which is okay, I guess, but like that's really not that great considering how much you would have to play to be in that elite level of salary cap. And when you're at gold, you got eight salary cap badges. At silver, you got four. And I think you either got one or two at bronze. I'm trying to remember, but I don't think it was very much. Uh, so if you participated, you only just got like one or two salary cap badges. That's like it's basically not worth anything almost. So very, very disappointing as far as that goes. And then draft champions, if you were at the elite level, you did get an ultimate legend pack, which is kind of cool, I guess. Those go for like, what, 100,000 coins on average uh, when they're in the game? I think it's I think it's 100,000. But then you also got a 4th of July badge pack, which is kind of cool. You got 25 draft champions badges which is honestly at this point basically worthless i mean if you really think about it those cards that you get out of the draft champions game mode those things are almost going for nothing at this point because none of them are that great anymore i mean you've got like final edition cards and movers cards and you know a million different ultimate legends and uh combine cards like all kinds of different cards that are better than basically anything you can get out of those uh, Draft Champions packs. So it's a little bit, or not Draft Champions packs, Draft Champions sets, I should say. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. You all do also get a Stars and Stripes pack if you were in that elite tier, and then also a Draft Champions Stadium pack, which, uh, you know, obviously if you like the stadiums, that's cool, I guess, but to me, I don't really care that much. I, I use the Vikings stadium and the Vikings jerseys and uh, things like that. Not because I'm from Minnesota, which I am. Uh, I'm not even a Vikings fan, though, but actually just because of pure convenience. Because when I'm doing sets, the V in Vikings makes them the last thing that shows up on the screen. So it's just a matter of me not wanting to have to do anything other than just click the X button and then X to add to the set for when I'm adding things for like badge sets. It's literally that. That's the reason that I use these stadiums. So uh, I don't think I would even really want to have a Draft Champions Stadium pack simply because of that. So kind of interesting, but uh, that's what you got for the for the Draft Champions Elite. Uh, one more time, it's Ultimate Legend Pack, 4th of July Badge Pack, 25 Draft Champions Badges, a Stars and Stripes Pack, and a Draft Champions Stadium Pack. Now for gold, you didn't get the Elite or the Ultimate Legend Pack, or the 4th of July Pack, which is very disappointing. You did still get the 25 Draft Champions badges. You got a Pro Pack. Oh, boy. A Stars and Stripes Pack, which is kind of cool, I guess. You got a Stadium, and then you also got a Fireworks Pack. So, um... 
you know, decent rewards, I guess, but really, again, really not anything spectacular. Like, a pro pack is 7,500 coins at this point. Like, that's nothing. That's nothing. You don't even get anything out of pro packs either. I mean, obviously, you can get ridiculously lucky and pull something like, you know, one of the Ultimate Legends uh, boss cards or something on Saturday or Sunday, but chances are you're going to pull jack crap out of a pro pack. Your Stars and Stripes pack, you're probably not going to get much out of. Stadium, maybe worth a, a little bit. The Fireworks pack, probably worth a little bit, but, like, overall, I mean, what is that? Probably under 100,000 coins worth of value for being in the gold tier. I mean, that sucks, man. That really sucks. And then at silver, you got a one pro pack, a stadium pack, and 10 badges. Uh, like, jack crap. Again, pretty much worthless. And then, obviously, for bronze, you got even less than that. I'm, I don't even I didn't even look at bronze, to be honest with you, because uh, it's garbage. Whatever it was is freaking garbage. So, uh, that's really unfortunate. I hope that they do something better for the next season of Draft Champions and uh, and Salary Cap because I really think that the people that play this game that much deserve more. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, based on the fact that we're almost near the end of Mutt this year and we're still having another season, what do you guys think you should get at the end? I mean, it, uh, to me, it should be something insane. I mean, you should get like three or four of the freaking uh, the Ultimate Legend packs or like the Ultimate packs or something like that. I think that would be amazing. That would at least make things worth it for you to do at the end you know so that you can kind of build your team or like get like a guaranteed ultimate legend or something like that you know what i mean something cool but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think you should get and let me know what you thought of this one as well thanks again guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you guys again soon